fourth of the day. We run the 1,000 metre straight course here and the race is for the Class 4 gallopers once again. Corrientes, narrow second to Car Ying Spirit a couple of weeks ago, is at the top of the book. A head ahead of first start has had three trials all at Chung Fa. Intention, Carpy Smart both having their second outing. This is Guts and Treasure of Field on debut. That pair have both had four trials as well. August Moon, much improved last time. Further down, we've got uh, Sparkling Dolphin, who was a course and distance winner. Farm Bumpers won at 1,000 metres twice, but both at Happy Valley. 12 Breeze of Spring Stable Change goes to Casper Founds. Visor comes off and Jumbo Engine has the blinkers on again, Tom. And the speed in this race, uh, Mark, from the United We Stand, Sparkling Dolphin, Corianthus, so there should be no shortage of pace in this race. Uh, the newcomers are sort of uh, grouped in a, a bunch there together. Treasure of Field behind Sparkling Dolphin, a hit ahead ahead and also with this is Guts. Uh, Sunny and Gold uh, down on the inside till the outside rail there should get a, a nice run through from gate number 14 and out the back exponential breeze of spring who's uh, changed trainer now with the Casper Founds but no shortage of pace with the top three up front uh, in this contest. August Moon is coming off his last effort, his best effort since uh, racing and arriving in Hong Kong. Paulo Sullivan is his trainer and we'll find out how he's done since that last start uh, third down the straight. Paul, August Moon, that was a better run from him last time out. Is he a horse that's turned the corner? Yeah, I think so. Um, um, you know, his first few runs is pretty much a learning experience for him, but um, it was a reasonably, reasonably uh, good field last week, and um, yeah, I think he should go on with it. His first couple of runs were quite well spaced, but he's only had a couple of, run, a couple of weeks since his last run. Fitness-wise, is he at his peak? Yeah, no, fitness-wise he's very good. It's just that he's pretty well suited running down the straight, or would appear to be at this stage, so... Probably normally we would have given him another week between runs, but the 1,000 uh, metre came up this weekend, so we put him in. And work-wise, just looking at the track work records, have you kept him pretty fresh for this? Yeah, he doesn't need a lot of work because um, it's only a fortnight in between runs, so he's fine. Lance trained him back in New Zealand, gave him a trial there. What's his background? Was he always destined to come here, Paul? Um, uh, yeah, the, the guys that own him in New Zealand are traders, and uh, he trialled pretty well in New Zealand, so um, you know, he earned a spot to come to Hong Kong. Carries the same weight, the horse that beat him home, Corinthus, goes up an extra two pounds on his back for the reclash this week. OK, trial time. Paul will start with an interestingly named runner. This is Guts. Has it shown Guts at the trials? Well, he's, he has shown a bit early pace, so I, I can see him going forward in this uh, uh, in this race. You can see he actually ends up winning this trial. He was uh, nicely positioned there. He's 11, 10 pounds. He's had the four trials and... You can see this is Guts, uh, showing a bit of Guts and going through the middle there. Yeah, really finished off uh, quite nicely here over the final stages of this uh, trial. It was quite uh, very much a, a blanket finish uh, there between the majority of the, the field. He's had a right uh, distal tibia stress injury, which has uh, kept him away for a, a wee while. But he was a little bit keen early, but finished off quite nicely. Horse he beat is Aries, who's a multiple class four winner. Treasure of Fields look sharp, Tom. He has. Now, this horse wasn't really wanted in, in New Zealand. He was a very, very cheap price. I think as a weanling, something like uh, three or $4,000. And uh, here he is. He's finished off this trial again. Blanket finish, but uh, willing to take a chance with him off this uh, trial. Zach Purton will get on for the first time. Paul, he hasn't ridden him in the uh, trials. But uh, look, he went on to win quite nicely there. But just the blanket finish as well. Yeah, another one with no pressure on it. There was four, uh, four trials he's had. He's 1,081 pounds. Are you going treasure hunting, Paul? You're putting your guts on the line. What are you doing here? Yeah, look, no, I'm, I'm going to go. <laughs> I won't put the guts on the line. That'll take too much space. I'm going to go with uh, <laughs> uh, Treasure of Field, though, on top here. He's uh, uh, he's had those four trials, so we'll, we'll go with him. United We Stand is very consistent uh, down this uh, um, straight 1,000, so he's a good benchmark. Good run last time from Corinthians last time, and uh, August Moon again hit the line strongly. So. 7 2 1 and 8, and a tricky uh, opening leg here of the Triple Trio. Yeah, certainly is uh, tricky, but I think you might get an each way price around to this horse Treasure of the Field for uh, Jimmy Ting and to Zach Purton. He jumped a little bit awkwardly in that uh, trial, but finished off quite okay. Uh, Corianthus has certainly improved in his uh, recent uh, outings. He was on speed, I thought, given every chance last time out. United We Stand, we know, is capable down the straight. And uh, Sunny and Gold, I thought, might just get a nice run behind uh, the leading uh, trio or so on that outside rail there, drawn gate number 14. And he was in the market last time out and closed off okay. So 7 1, 2 and 14. Early favourite for the race is Corianthus. He's come up at 4.8 to go one better than he did behind Ka Ying Spirit when they met a couple of weeks ago.